Today video, I'm gonna be going into more in-depth details about this x dike D8BT. What I dislike and what I like about it. And I'm also gonna be comparing what the actually the manufacturers claim about it and what the real actual uh, realities comparative to what the manufacturers claim about it because that's most often times can be very misleading you you hope that this is actually why you're buying this and you bought it and it is not as they claimed and you start feeling disappointed now in the previous uh, in-depth review which I made I said disappointed and the reason there is because one of the main features that actually prepared me to buy this one among the top is not there. And I read through these a lot. In fact, I read more than 10 times through every feature which this product here have as claimed by the manufacturers. But upon getting it, it was displeasing to actually see that it's not there. And I did recall that the previous can to which I have which is not a standalone like this one here. That feature was just there carelessly. I just looked at it, I was scanning the customer's car and I saw it. There are modules that are out of date which I could actually just tap into it and update it, but that wasn't actually the main uh, job which I was doing on that car. So I didn't go further to do it because if there is anything that happens, it's gonna ask me, did I actually tell you to go ahead and do so? So without wasting your time, let's get to it. So this second review is going to give you details of some other things which I didn't actually point out in the previous review. So let's get to it. And uh, if you are up to buy it, fine. And if you are up to know exactly what they claim, and in reality, based on my testing so far, I've used it to fix or try to fix a lot of cars within these few days that I've got a hold of it. and. The honest review is what I'm going to be giving it here because I bought this with my own money and if it doesn't work as it's supposed, I'm going to tell you exactly the truth without being stimulated because this is not sponsored shit. Now let's go to it. So the first thing first, uh, on my dislikes, I talked about good stuff on previous video because I haven't gone in-depth details but today I've got some news for you now about the uh, missing features mi missing stuff which I never told you guys he is here on this very guy here I did actually told you guys it has a flashlight in the previous video which you press by right here you can use it to see the OBD port that is fine aside that it has a second feature this LCD screen here is a meter a voltmeter to check the battery of the car which you're working on which is a very good impressive uh, feature and the reason there is uh, in order for you to keep a watch on the battery of the car which you're working on while trying to fix it so it doesn't run out of juice before you pull the plug out that is why this is a very important feature so let me go ahead let's see uh, it's a quick way which uh, a very good feature which I would say if you a customer just come to a garage and He talks about the car will not start and you want to check a quick check of If the battery is the problem if the battery is running out of juice you just simply look at the OBD port and You install this guy right there like this one here. So now you can see this one so let me get the extension that is going to show you exactly what it is okay this is an extension this extension is not, doesn't come with it i bought it when i was buying my launch scanner so i'm going to be using this so we see it so let's go ahead and plug this guy up side the OBD so here goes into here
now here we go so you can see a quick note that this is 12.6 volt that the battery of my car has so that is a, a very good feature which you can use to know a customer's uh, car battery power is 12.5 it's dropping so and it's gonna be much visible if it is Toyota because it's just around here as much as you put it, you're gonna be seeing it or Nissan so it's impressive feature that's that I missed in the other video now let's go further now there is some other things which I I missed here and that is this guy here this very device have a wi-fi file that you can i mean you can connect through a wi-fi hotspot but it doesn't i try to find if it does have a sim place where i'm actually gonna slot this in so i'm gonna load a data bundle on this one here but unfortunately it doesn't have any sim place it doesn't have any sim slot though i didn't read it through the uh, what the manufacturers claim about it Now a lot of you guys are gonna be like yeah, I'm burning your time So what did the manufacturer claim that this guy have that? obviously doesn't have That is a, a good question one is the adaptability adaptability of The firmware I'm not talking about the firmware of this very scanner the adaptability of the firmware of your car. The claim this very Cantu is gonna actually update the firmware of the control modules of your car, ECM, body control modules, and the rest of them. But upon getting this to, it doesn't have that feature to actually update the control module, and that really got me pissed. Now let me go ahead and show you, let me go ahead and <coughs> prove it to you. Now aside that, they claim it has 10,000 mAh battery, which you can see is 100% charged right now. But in my analytics, this is not up to 10,000 mAh, why? It might be there in spirit, but not there physically. What I mean there is I have a Samsung tablet, right? I have Samsung tablet that uh, have I think 7000 mAh and I could tell you it lasts better than this very scanner here. So that is just another thing that is there which uh, I really quite, uh, it doesn't really dance quite to my tune because I was expecting with that whole battery it should be able to do better. You know, it should be able to last longer. I don't have to be needing to charge it up every now and then when I use, when I plug it into any car. But unfortunately, so let's go into the system. I've plugged it here. And uh, let's see if it's gonna be able to update my car firmware. Updating this firmware is not, uh, is not my problem, it is, is going to update whether they like it or not the manufacturer might charge you that is after three years or after two years depend on what i wrote right there but it's not applicable as of what i read before buying it now let's go to automatic detection okay let's go to jera okay. guided function Okay, then this should be 1.6 liters. Let's see the guidance function. Let's see if it works. This is 2007. Okay, climate control. Let's see. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see something here. I want to see something here. Power steering. Even if it doesn't communicate with that because right now my power steering is shining red. I will check another system. Let's see what it got about the guided function. Okay. Does not support this feature. Well, let's go to engine electronics. 
which is the engine control module, the ECM, the famous ECM. Come on, stop wasting my time. I don't have all the, okay. Talk to plate adapting after removing. Okay, cleaning, updating. Do you want to perform the matching? Oh. Is it actually matching that is the guided function? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's up to the specs. Okay. Here you go. This sub function is not supported. Invalid. So, it seems like the guided function doesn't work. Let's check the electronic brake electronics. ABS control module, my ABS is in good condition. If it fails to do that, so which means the guided function here is not, it is not working. How the hell will it not work with 2007 model? Or will it have to work with 2050 car? Not supported. So guys, this is uh, funny, very, very funny. And I'm getting more disappointed in this. Really. Okay, let's check a uh, can fast. Can fast. So after 2005 minus 2007. Okay, engine electronics break. Problem. Where where we're starting column electronics. Okay. The anti theft pass. So there's a lot of problem, comfort system, radio, there is a lot of faults. The can fast is working. So let's diagnose this and see what it does. Read trouble code. Okay, lost communication with the steering. Right it to fan. Okay. Okay. Okay, active and static means it's current, but that is the only thing that is actually showing the mean why there's a whole lot. Okay, that's on the engine electronics. Let's go to the control module, climate control module, and see what happens there. So, this is one good thing though instrument control, uh, no signal below lower limit, not reach here because there is insufficient refrigerant inside the system. The compass is kind of good, that's uh, like trying to. Troubleshoot using the CAN communication system, the CAN line. Now I want to find the electronic steering column. Okay, the radio. I want to check that and see because my radio has been acting up weird these days. Read trouble code. Auxiliary input open, active and static. But I thought there is no any auxiliary in this very radio here. As I was told that it's going to be aftermarket, the control module incorrectly coded. Hmm. So which means I have to go ahead and code it someday. Uh, let's see adaptations. Documented adaptation. Driving function development test mode. Okay. Okay, this is not what I'm coming for. What about the coding? Okay, that's the software coding. So you should write it down before trying to code. Well, I'm not going to go into the radio coding today. I'm kind of checking. The Comfast uh, is working. So, now, what I want to say here is, let's go back a little bit more. Let's go back. I didn't think you guys see any updating feature in this guy here. There is no any updating feature. I'm searching through those areas there to see if I can be able to find where it can be able to update the firmware 
of my uh, computer electronics but there is no such thing calibration engine three engine generation electronic thermostat matching all I'm seeing here is matching matching and there is no any but this car which I was talking about is actually the Xenon 4 model 2425 model I also forgot to tell you guys that the, I, I sent a message to the technical teams and they were telling me that it depends on the car make and model that it's not every car that you can be able to update its control module the reason for updating control modules is imperative to smooth operation of your car so now this signs you're seeing the arrow pointing up is that the system firmware is due for updates right so you can go ahead and punch in the red button there and look at it it start uh, you can start updating it as soon as you click on it right there but you have to swipe down and connect like i connected here so if i click on here right now is downloading and updating the firmware of the scanner so you see the available ones today that you can see right now so I don't know how many how many uh, megabyte of data that that thing there is uh, I wanna come back a little bit but my internet is as slow as hell there I have for Audi okay uh, for Audi, click it on. They have also for Ford Lamborghini. Well, 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 Opel. So there are a lot right there. I guess there are new release of the updates Skoda, even VW. So let me go ahead. Or could it be the reason why they're giving me update here because I have to send them the serial number of my scanner to actually put in those uh, feature which they claimed is there and I checked and it wasn't there so guys technically these are my few dislikes and likes so far as for the battery do not do not completely go with my opinion on the battery because i don't know if it is my own usage that actually make it to run down that fast but so far i think it run down faster though 15 minutes now it has it's just one percent that has dropped out of uh 18 minutes sorry since i powered it up so guys uh update for Nissan that's good there's a whole lot of different different updates coming up right there the arrow pointing up so guys this is technically some of the features which I never showed you guys on the previous one there and what is this more I don't think there is anything they're talking about endoscope We're trying to why would you be putting endoscope here I am expecting oscilloscope not endoscope you know so why put in endoscope that is gonna be useless for people a call technician diagnostics like me i'm not gonna be needing any stupid endoscope right so guys and uh other thing there is that this guy automatically saves whichever dtc which you see from the system after the scanning then aside uh, doing you know video v uh that's uh recording the video uh interface screen recording as much as doing a screen capture so guys drop me a comment below this very video description as for key i'm gonna be using the to code one of my car here to code this very guy over there my passat b6 I bought a key for it, but I haven't had a scanner that can be able to do it, so I'm going to do that next time. So if you want to know how I'm going to be using it to code my Passat, my VW, then go ahead and uh, do it. So like I said, this is one of my turn-off 
and uh, second phase of the turn off again like i said is some of the things which i told you guys here so guys there is no need for me to waste more of your time further uh, i'm gonna catch you guys later now before we go let's go to this uh attrition testing all right let's go to the attrition testing europe europe let's go to the attrition testing and let me show you guys something something that i'm expecting uh, I have used actuation testing in some other car and some other scanners, so I know how a very good actuation testing should be like. And uh, okay, so let's go to full system diagnostics. Let's go to the body control module. The body control module engine. Okay, let's go ahead and actuate some of the functions in the engine. Okay, actuation testing. Okay, okay. here. It's something which I didn't like. I'm expecting it to show it sequentially, to show it different, to show the fuel pump, to show the fan, to show different control modules, different uh, system which you can be able to actuate. It's not just, you know, it's stopping some here. So the actuation testing is messed up in my own opinion. You should see them line up either in, either in list or in a draft form to be like here 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 so you can be able to choose which one it's not this one here that you can't even see the next one so but it does work it was actually actuating the fuel pump so i'm gonna go ahead and stop it now when you say stop it you end it and it, it jumped out so who does that that's why i said it's it's messed up you're supposed to have it right there uh just like you have this ones here you have the read ecu information read trouble code clerk trouble code live stream data read freeze frame adaptation basic settings display advanced identification security logins readiness test coding that's how it's supposed to actually show the actuation testing you don't have to hide it and you terminating the first one doesn't mean the rest you have actuated the rest all right so okay now so if i want to go to actuate some other features what do i do here okay let's say active let's say nest eva podge And when you activate the EVA push, the fuel, it has to allow the fuel pump to run continuously. Intake manifold turning. Okay. Radiator fan active. Let's see if it works. We're here because. I don't trust these Chinese guys. I have actuated the fan and the fan is not working. Could it be because I'm actually seeing that my fan control module is bad, but this fan is not overheating because of that same complaint. So the fan doesn't work. Uh, okay, you're saying fourth open circuit. That's a good one. So if you wanna, that's a good thing which I wanted to point out there. So if suppose the system you're trying to actuate is having a problem, it's gonna list it out there for you so you don't expect it to do miracle let's go to the next one stupid son of the bitch how do you actuate the injector pause it is it, it's not done man it's not done i mean you should be able there should be a lot of there is a lot of things on the engine control unit which you should be able to actuate to know if they are functioning well or not it's not just this few thing so guys don't expect too much of this very scan too all right like i said uh chinese guys are more like a trap they often just bring out stuffs and coin it to look like it's so good I'm not saying this thing is cheaper for the money, no. And don't be fooled. A lot of people are saying that the topology makes it to be advanced. That's bullshit.
That's bullshit. Why did I say so? Because the topology is just simply a automatic scan. Let's go through that topology for a while. Let me explain something to you guys. So if you are buying it because of the topology stuff thing, no, it's not a damn thing. Read trouble codes. Now in this read trouble codes, okay, sorry. I actually choose the engine electronics. So here, when you see automatic scan, that is where you see the topology. So typically speaking, it's just automatic scan in other vehicles, in other scan too. So it, I don't see anything special about these guys. Nothing. No damn thing. Right? So this is where I'm going to be ending it, guys. Right? The topology thing we they talk about, you can pretty much do the same thing with... Uh, can fast right you can do the same thing with can fast and the can fast is actually going to be much more even faster except you were just being entertained by the views look at the can fast it didn't even waste time it told you everything that is as fought inside this very vehicle so the can fast is way better than the topology topology is just a waste of time and just kind of a freak show or you know a, some kind of a freak show for people newbies who don't know how a powerful scan tool is supposed to work. I don't see anything unique about the topology, the so-called topology, topology. Look at the cam fast here. It just told you that the anti-theft, anti-theft, and the driver door electronic pass and the rest have fought, which is true. You want to save the report. You want to make the this is your report. You click on the report. You want to diagnose any of them. You select them and diagnose. So it's pretty much straight and very fast. As I say, it's can fast because actually through the can that every other control modules get there uh, is connected through the system. And if there is a problem, then they should be able to be pre present right in the can bus system and should be able to see it right away. So the can fast feature is much more faster, much more usable for me and more clarity compared to the so-called topology. So guys, uh, let me go to the ECU configuration, normal mode. Let's see what's gonna happen. Now for the other feature there, you can see that the battery is now, it has lost 0.2. It was 12.5 uh, previously. So that's why I say this is a very good feature. So you can be able to monitor if your battery is running out of juice. So you know what to do. You know when to pull the plug and run. Or connect uh, a power source to it to charge the battery while you do what you do. So guys, it's taking too much time to load board. What I actually did have for you concerning this very uh, scan too is to tell you that uh, it is not too special. No, I only bought it because I was thinking the updatability is going to be there. And the second thing is for key programming. A lot of people say it has a key programming tendency. I haven't even checked a lot of some of those features, guys. I haven't. So this one is taking too much time. I got to go, guys. All right. So if you like this uh, review, okay, here it finally loaded, finally loaded. So this is like uh, trying to code any of the, that is not working well. Okay, not supported. Okay, luggage, high beam, auxiliary driving. Service reminder. Let's check the service reminder. Okay, service expired. And the scan tool is telling you that the service has not expired. So, okay, so let's read. It says service expired. So what you just see, okay, service has not expired, service expired. So if you want to code it that the service has not expired, you go ahead and say not expired, click here, then you program it back in, you code it back into the system there. So that's not what I want to do. Guys, I got to go, guys. Thanks for your time. 
seal it off. Mm, seal it off. See you later.